In this video, I am going to explain number group in Excel. If you want to learn in detail, watch complete video. I am Farhan. This is Microsoft Excel series and you are watching DigiMastery channel. Let's start. You can see Excel sheet have some data is in first row. That is our heading like currency, number, accounting, percentage, date, time, scientific, text, special that all options are in number group. If you click any cell in number group, here general format show. Even you look in format cell window, you can see general format. Now first we understand percentage option in number group. Select cell range and click on this percentage sign. Now enter any number in the cell. You can see percentage sign with the number I enter. Again select the cells, click on this drop down and go to the more number format option. You can see format cell window and click on percentage option here you can see first record as sample if you want to increase decimal places click here i want two decimal places you can increase or decrease decimal places from here now select this cell range and choose general format option from here you can see that is general format Now move forward to explain number format. Enter some random numbers. When you enter number, by default Excel sends the number format. As you see automatically left align. Now select the cell range and go to format cell window. This time I am going to click on number option. You can see first record as sample. I want to remove decimal places. Click here. Now here you can see different number format. Select first one and click OK. If you add decimal places, you can click over here. You can click over here and select copy format and do this. Now enter some negative numbers. And go to format cell window. And select this format. You can see all negative number color is red and negative sign disappear. You can change and try different format like this. Now select this cell range again and go to format cell window. Click on number format. Now this time select this format and click on the checkbox to use 1000 separator and click OK. You can see 1000 separator the result. Now you able to change number format according to your desire. Now move to currency format, enter some number here, select the cell range and choose this currency option from this list. You can see dollar sign add with these numbers or you can say amount. Now go to format cell window and this time select the currency option. Here you can increase or decrease the decimal places or you can also choose these currency format options. Or if you want other currency sign, you can click this drop down arrow. A list appear in front of you. 
Now you can select the currency sign, whatever you want. All type of currency sign is available. Now select the dollar sign again, press OK. Now copy this and paste here in accounting. And select the cells. And this time I am going to select accounting format from this list. You can see some difference between currency and accounting format. First is dollar sign in currency format dollar sign is close to the numbers and in accounting format dollar sign is far to the numbers. Second is when I enter zero in currency format zero is showing as you can see and when enter zero in accounting format it shows dash. These two main difference. I hope you will understand. Control Z. Now move to date format. Enter any date here and press enter. You can see date. This format of date is by default of your system date format. As you can see in formula bar also. Select this cell and use fill handle and drag it down date format is that is month date and year if you can change this format also go to format cell window and select any format here in list try different date format like this you can see date is not showing to show date, just increase the column width. Now move to the time format. Select this cell and enter any time here. In this format, you can see hours, minutes, seconds and pm and am. To change format, go to format cell window and click on time format here here is list you can select any time format and then press ok you can see on selected cell format is apply i enter any time that convert according to the selected time format let's try another time format now move to scientific format I'm going to enter 10 to 12 numbers and press enter you can see this type of format is called scientific format enter some random numbers here Select this cell range and go to format cell window and select scientific format this time. Here you can see you can increase or decrease the decimal places and press OK. If you want to convert these scientific format number to number format just select these cells and choose the number format option in list. If numbers are not showing in the cells here just increase the column width like this. Now move to text format. Select the cell and enter some numbers. Select all the cell range and go to format cell window and select the text format. Text format cells are treated as text 
even when a number is in the cell press ok you know in excel number always left a line and text is always right line so this is text now if i enter number here it shows error let's read this error message number store as text as you can see and we cannot apply any formula on text like sum formula when we enter is equal to sign sum bracket start or enter cell address and comma one by one and press enter you can see that not giving result because this is text not the number that's why formula is not working move to special format enter some enter some numbers here and select the cell range and go to format cell window here if you select this zip code press for format and press ok you can see last four numbers appear after dash now change the special format one by one and check it now fraction format remaining 0 0.5, 0 0.26, 0 0.45, 0.36 select cell range and go to format cell window and select fraction format option and select the format and here you can see all the formats select this format and press ok you can see fraction format here but in formula bar it show 0.5 as i enter in the cell now i again open format cell window in the last you can see custom option here this option i explain to you in next video because custom have very big list like this I hope you will enjoy this video and your concept is clear about number group in Excel. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.